here we are, on the exhibition, at the Mesa Control, in Stuttgart. Hello, let's see. Hello, how are you? Uh, here we are representing a new device. The new device is uh, one of the gauges thickness uh, thickness matters. Uh, let's say if you have some kind of uh, coating on the surface, on the metal surface, uh, and you have to measure it, this is what you need. Uh, it measure uh, have non-destructive method. You can measure the thickness by just applying the sensor to the surface. It turns on automatically, and here we are. We can see the thickness of this coating. Uh, the coating could be of every, any kind of. Uh, Materials that uh, does not um, uh, that does not elect uh, field and um, have uh, magnetic fields. So it could be a paint, a plastic, uh, etc. On the metal, on the metal like steel or uh, uh, aluminium, it doesn't matter. This one device have uh, two features. It can me make measures on the ferrous metals as you see this this detail is made of ferrous and the gauge shows that it is and this uh, this this door is made of aluminium this is not ferrous metal and we can see it here this is non ferrous metal and uh, as you see it's one to eight microns and this part was painted on the factory and to check uh, what, what was with uh, the car before you saw it you can just measure it uh, as we see it was damaged here uh, it was damaged and repaired we can make the measurement on this side and we see it's uh, twice higher than uh, the original part and closer to the damage. The damage was made uh, on this part and closer to the lowest part we see the higher di 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 digits. Okay, this, this is a naked surface uh, and uh, the um, plate is applied and here we have little bit higher this is already paint and this the paint with the leg leg as we see we can measure the the one nearby and we see difference. This part was uh, painted uh, at the factory, this one not. Okay, mm, indeed uh, you say the all uh, thickness gouges made this. Uh, what's the difference of your gouge between other? This one uh, gouge was made for people who used to deal with the cars with the cars uh, to check the car to check the car from the second hand or uh, check the new car because sometimes uh, the cars is uh, have a damages damage uh, between while they are shipping to the dealer between factory and dealer sometimes there are scratches uh, or something uh, something else and the dealer just paint it and don't tell the customer that it's painted well, let's see. Uh, and the difference, difference between uh, 
these devices and other devices. Uh, we have a real low price uh, and real great quality. And this is a those device with this price that can measure uh, the thickness on the steel up to two millimeters. It's only one of these. It's it's a only device for this price can me can measure up to two uh, millimeters on the iron uh, surfaces on the iron. So also also there is a future uh, light the light uh, as you can measure uh, make the measurement uh, during uh, the sun is low or let's say it's dark on the street it, uh, and it's dark in uh, some place and also you can check the surface uh, for scratches let's say you can see the paint it was scratched if it's scratched you can lower the price uh, of the car from second hands also uh, if you let's say sell in the cars, you sold the car, uh, and if customer pays you uh, via cash, you can check. You can check your cash by ultraviolet lamp. We can we can just make uh, take uh, some banknote and see. You can see small parts that can be seen only in ultraviolet light. No, that is not here, but they are over here. You can see them. Also we can check the car documents, any documents that have uh, some, some, some things uh, that you can see only in ultraviolet light. Okay, that's for my job. Thank you. <laughs> and um, what what else we have in this device? As you see, the letter A appears here. It means that it's in automatic mode. You can uh, uh, start the measurement without turning, without uh, knowing uh, what is this uh, metal made of. Let's say we make measurement here. And it's automatically uh, recognized that it's ferrum, ferrous, made of ferrous metal. It means it's a steel. And let's, let's get here. We measure this this one. Oh, sorry. And uh, you can see this is not ferrum because uh, this door was made of aluminium. Well, it's a small. It's not heavy very light gauge you can try it to I uh, can try to measure in any any places it's not so hard and it's worked uh, with two batteries 3A here you can see it's really easy to install and uh, the work with him long lasting Okay. Also, this small and cheap device uh, goes in a gift box, a small gift box, uh, when you can find some kind of uh, bag. It's a carrying bag. You can put it on your belt and just step it in. Also, there are few plates you can find in this bag. Non-ferrous metal plate, ferrous metal plate and standard thickness. What is this for? I will explain you now. This is for calibrating. Because of a lot of fields around us, uh, the device uh, can be mistake from time to time. Okay, and we have to recalibrate it. All the calibration you can see is uh, will happen right now. It's easy. We just uh, tell the device two points. It's a zero point. It's uncoated 
uh, it's uncoated blade. And uh, second point, you know, uh, the point with the thickness that we know. Let's say device. This is zero. He said, "Okay, this is zero. It's great." And the second point, we make the measurement, uh, press calibration button for four seconds. You see, the calibration is appears and blinking. After that, we can see it's 102 microns here. Uh, with the buttons, with the arrows, we can up to to one, uh, 102 microns. We press calibration to confirm, and here we are. The device is calibrated. Okay, let's say uh, you forgot you're dealing with the cars, and you forgot uh, the plates to calibrate it. You say, what should we do? It's not a problem. Uh, we can always uh, make the factory calibrating. Uh, it's uh, usually mm, uh, if, uh, you should use it uh, when the um, device starts to uh, show really wrong, um, really wrong digits. Uh, it happens if we, if you let's say, um, put device near high electro fields like. Uh, like large car batteries or uh, near the high voltage uh, lines uh, you just put the zero for four seconds and device is goes to his uh, factory um, factory features so we can check it shows zero on zero And it shows nearby uh, digits as on this plate. So this five microns is means almost nothing uh, when you check the cars, because as we saw before, the difference between uh, between um, part that painted on uh, on the uh, factory is larger for few times and your five or four microns is even doesn't matter in it so uh, we can uh, we can call it self calibration so even if you go into check the car you don't even need this, this, this plates just you can check and calibrate it for sometimes one or two times per month if you use it every day so this is it was uh, uh, thickness go Chitari ET111 and also uh, we have model calls Yatari ET1 uh, uh, 110. Uh, the difference is uh, this device uh, measure only on the iron uh, surfaces, uh, the made of steel. Uh, this one measure on the non ferrous and ferrous uh, surfaces made of steel or aluminium well oh i forgot i forgot we start to talk about automatic mode in automatic mode he can he can re recognize uh, the metal uh, and you can make uh, you can turn uh, the ferrous or non ferrous method let's say why why do you need this let's say uh, we have some kind of steel uh, and on the steel is a uh, non-magnetic steel you have non-magnetic metal let's say it's uh, zinc on the steel uh, to measure the metal the metal the zinc on the, the thickness of the zinc on the uh, iron you can turn the ferrous mode and just apply it and get uh, the thickness of the zinc because it's, it would goes through non-ferrous metal. As the same, you can turn the non-ferrous metal and uh, measure the um, uh, steel on the aluminium, let's say. Well, I think that's all what I can tell you about this device. Um, here we are. Our company calls, calls Yatari. 
We are located in Germany. Hello, you can come back to us.